how we feel it. Are you sick of me asking that yet? I hate to say it, but this is the final panel of the day. She goes, no. <laughs> Can we get it all? Oh. Yeah, see, I feel that too. It's been amazing. Have you guys had a fun day so far? Yeah. yeah. It's not over yet. We've got our legacy stars here. If you are, who's, who's been to the panels today? First panel? You guys been here? You're so shy. Who's <laughs> been here at a panel today in this room? There we go. Yay. So you know how this works. I will ask a few questions of my own, and then we will go to all of you guys and gals. Mostly ladies, I'm seeing. Oh, yes, it's ladies' night. Let's hear from the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, oh, she dragged me here. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, we are so excited for our next guest. Please welcome from the cast of Legacies, first of all, Miss Jenny Boyd. Oh, yeah. Woo! Woo! rowdy a lot. Liverpool tends to get rowdy in the best of ways, though, in the best of ways. Well, ladies, uh, other than your experiences here in Liverpool, I want to talk to you about legacies. Now, we've had Vampire Diaries, the originals. Is this something that before you were cast on the show, was it something that you were interested in, this sort of vampirical werewolf, that's a big word, right? Fantasy world. Was that something that intrigued you before you were cast? Uh, I actually watched the Vampire Diaries when it was when it first came out, I want to say, I think it was like 12 or 13, <laughs> and I watched it. I watched it for like two or three seasons, and then I sort of fell off of it. And then five years later, I got an audition for Hope, and I was like, oh, I remember this. <laughs> yeah, I actually, I was aware of Vampire Diaries, but um, hadn't seen it until I got cast, and then I binged the entire thing. But I always loved like fantasy and sci-fi and stuff, loved like Lord of the Rings, and. That, so. You're in the right place for that, being here at Comic-Con. I know. You mentioned seeing some of the Vampire Diaries people. Um, is there anyone at this Comic-Con or any others that you've done uh, where you've had a, a fangirl moment? Any celebrity moments you can think of that you were like, oh my god, that's them? We saw Henry Cavill at uh, San Diego Comic-Con. I was a little starstruck. Oh were you there? We did. He was in that, um, <laughs> <laughs> we were there. It was like that rooftop thing. Oh, that's right, yeah, we did. He was yeah, there. yeah, yeah, that was cool. Yeah. Is he luminous? Yeah. I just imagine he floats. Glowing. Wow. I clearly don't remember this interaction very much, but I'm sure he was glowing. We <laughs> saw him. Fantastic. What a babe. Here for Henry Cavill. Ladies, come on. I'm surprised I didn't hear a reaction for that one. Well, tell us about uh, your relationship with the Vampire Diaries cast and originals. Is it something that you guys all kind of do you keep in touch? Do you keep in contact? Yeah, I mean, we definitely see each other at these events and mm -hmm. at conventions, and obviously our show just ended, so we were constantly surrounded by <laughs> our fellow cast, but um, yeah, it's always nice to see people at these things. Yeah, obviously, like, Matt Davis is the glue that holds all three shows together, um, but yeah, we've, we've run into them quite a few times now, and it's really great. It's, it feels like we're part of a wider family, which is really nice. And the camaraderie on the set, walk me through a day on set. Is it fun? Was it a family atmosphere? Everybody friendly? Yeah, yeah, it was definitely, it's like, I did it for five years, personally, and so it felt like a college experience in a way, um, where you're, you're together. I mean, you see each other more than you see your own families mm -hmm. and friends. You really, you know, and especially like, I moved to Atlanta for the show, and so, you're pretty isolated there, and you don't really know a lot of people going into it. Um, but when you're together 16, 17 hours a day, all day, it's you really do become kind of like a family, for better or for worse. Yeah, yeah absolutely. That's exactly what I was going to say. You know, those long, long days, it really just bonds you. And, um, you know, even when you're really tired and everything, everyone feels like they're in the same boat and they totally get it. And, 
Yeah, so. We have lots of fun stories. Yeah, me and Danielle yeah. in the trenches oh. constantly, <laughs> like 16 so hour days. Oh, it was yeah. constantly, it was just you and me. It was like long days, early mornings. It was like me and Jenny at 4.30 in the morning, every morning. <laughs> Yeah, so. I think people have that misconception that we were talking about this earlier, that, you know, acting and, and the celebrity that comes along with it, if they only see the glamorous sides, but are there are grueling days on set. Can you elaborate on that and sort of the, the not so glamorous side of the job? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when we're working, it does feel it's quite insulated. You know, we're not like going out a lot, especially over COVID. Like we, you know, because we didn't want to get it, we didn't want to shut down the show. We were really quite, you know, going to work, staying home. So you're not really exposed to the success of the show or the fans of the show unless you come to things like this. So it's really quite nice to like see that what we're doing actually is being watched and received and, and being cared about by people. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's work. You know, at the end of the day, it's like it's a job and you show up and you do what you were hired to do. And, you know, I'm very grateful that it was Legacies and that, you know, we've gotten to be on a successful show for so long and, and meet all of you guys. It's been really wonderful. Speaking of wonderful, we have some wonderful fans waiting by eagerly. Thank you. Uh, ready to ask questions at the microphones we have here. Let's go to microphone number one here first on the left hand side. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, first, I want to say uh, how important and loved you are. Like everyone loves you, and you are so important for us. Aww, thank you. <laughs> thank you. So, um, how was it filming your last scenes with Kaylee? And those who and Lizzie know the real reason why Josie left. The real reason, like, like <laughs> the reason the character left. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's revealed for sure, um, eventually, I think. I don't know, you know, what has aired here in the UK, but it's definitely revealed for sure. Yeah, no, it was, um, it was obviously emotional, and um, yeah, yeah, no, it was, it was hard saying goodbye to somebody who's been with us for so long on the show. I, <laughs> I have just one left question. Um, what is your favorite ship for your respective character? Um, you know, I don't really feed into the ships very much. Um, I sort of just want my character to be where she's at in her journey and what's right for her. So whatever works for her at that time. Yeah, there's some, I mean, Lizzie's had a couple of love interests. Um, yeah, the, the Mizzy thing has been off and on for a long time, so we'll see what that sort of finishes on at the end of the show. But yeah. Great questions, thank you so much. We're gonna go to microphone number two here on the right. Hi. Hi, um, first of all, I wanted to say again, thank you so much for coming. You're making all our weekends so much better. <clears throat> and um, my question is, how satisfied are you with the ending of Legacies, like ending this huge universe and also for your character storylines, you know, like how your character is developed and everything, like how satisfied are you with the ending? Yeah, I actually was just, we were just talking about this. I just watched our last episode yesterday morning. Um, I was like in the hotel room, like crying. It was, it was, it's emotional, you know, just obviously because I've played the character for so long, but I think because the episode's actually good and um, Julie helped write it and came back. And so it all felt very full circle and everything is wrapped up in a nice pretty bow. I think a lot of fans will be very happy. Yeah, absolutely the same. I think because we had an inkling it might be the end, um, the writers did a really good job of bringing it full circle. Um, yeah, and like filming the last few scenes was pretty surreal, honestly. I don't think I even realized our last scene that we filmed, well, my last scene was with us too. And I like realized after it that, yeah, I was like, oh, I'm not gonna say any more lines on the show. But I think in a way that's good to not be like, realizing it beforehand or dwelling on it but then like in hindsight going oh my gosh that's i crazy. cried i cried that whole week do you remember yeah. i was like constantly crying yeah. i was like because oh. you know it's like you think you're ready and like we did have an inkling and we were asked to write a finale before we even knew and so like we all kind of said our goodbyes slowly but <laughs> you think you're ready and then it comes and you're like this is so sad you know so yeah. I, I cried a lot yeah definitely 
I do too at the end. Yeah, emotional. We've got a question up here uh, on the left. We'll go to microphone three. Um, if you could have been any other character than your own, who would it be and like why? Um, I've actually been asked this quite a lot this weekend, and after a little bit of deliberation, I just, I would choose Lizzie. <laughs> I loved playing Lizzie. Um, I loved her comedy and, and her emotion, and I just think it was such a privilege to play that character. Um, bar that, I thought we had some really cool um, creatures characters. I loved the genie, yeah. um, and the so tree that. lady. <coughs> the dryad. The dryad. The dryad yeah. Yes, I couldn't remember what she was called. But that was a great role. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's a safe answer, but I, I really love Hope. I really do. And um, she's a badass, and <laughs> she's very frustrating sometimes. But I fell in love with her along the way. So I mean, I like Hope. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go to microphone number four, all the way at the top on the right. Um. What was your favorite line on the show? I've been asked this several times this weekend, and I can't, like, I can't think of. I know, and I just, like, I blank whenever I get this question. I just don't know what to yeah. say. In this moment, it would have to be, why are you carrying a sword? <laughs> 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 yeah, that one was, like, such a fun night of filming, and... The ice cream was really delicious. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I had like ice cream in my mouth. Um, yeah, that was. You was have enjoyable. so many iconic lines. I do. If it's anyone, some that I still lines. don't even understand. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I know. Okay, they're always funny. Yeah, yeah. Any of Lizzie's lines. Yeah. We're gonna go to microphone number two here on the right. Hi, uh, my question's actually for Jenny, and it's about the most recent Legacies episode. Um, if the scene between Lizzie and MG uh, wasn't interrupted, do you think Lizzie would have said I love you back? I think you're just going to have to wait and see. <laughs> I think the next episode might have something towards the end of it that will reveal exactly what Lizzie's feelings are. You're welcome. we got a collective ooh from the audience. <laughs> we love a tease. We're going to go back to microphone number one right here. Um, for both of you, what's your favorite and least favorite quality in each of your characters? Very good question. Mm -hmm. I love Hope's strength and her resilience. That's something I really admire about her. Um, I really like Lizzie's loyalty. I think even in some of her not so good actions. It's because she's trying to defend the people that she loves or protect the people that she loves. Least favorite? Um, I think Hope tends to get a bit overprotective to a point where it closes her off. Uh, so that can be frustrating as an actor playing a character who's who wants to be very closed off and who just wants to protect herself and protect the people around her. Um, um, I think for Lizzie, it's her vulnerability in a way. Like she, it affects her in a bad way sometimes. You know, she just is a little too open to criticism, and that's what brings out some of her her worst traits. Yeah. Great question. Thank you. We'll go up to microphone number three at the top left. Hi, I was wondering if you have a favorite memory from being on set. You know, I asked this question on our last day to everyone who was there. Remember, I asked the question, we didn't get any answers. I got like one answer. We had the time of our lives filming the mummy episode. <laughs> oh my god, it was the best of times and the worst. It of was times. the best and worst. Yeah, it was yeah. a miserable episode to film. It was yeah. freezing cold, and we had these like long nights. We were all the way out in the middle of nowhere in Georgia, and it was like rainy. It was just awful but we had so much fun yeah. we like took this horrible experience and just made it into like the most fun experience we kind of banded together because it was one of the most dire times we had and so we were like we're gonna rise above this and yeah we ended up laughing so much and yeah <laughs> yeah we were in that van on the stages you remember yeah. oh my god yeah i'm gonna go up to microphone number four at the top right who was your favorite person to work with? I mean, I don't 
to show favoritism like that. Yeah. So many good people Everyone, over the so years. Many, yeah. yeah, so many great guest stars. Like ben Gurren's is just like the most fun the human. Star. Yeah, she, yeah. I loved working with Rebecca Breeds this season. Yeah, she's, she's great so as sweet. Well. Yeah, the sweetest. Yeah, we've had like we have a really talented group of people. That's one thing like I will really say about Legacies is that like everyone is so talented. So as an actor, it was always a joy. Um, but yeah, everyone. Well, just between us, who did you hate? Just kidding. <laughs> I would not do that to you, ladies. Can you imagine? We're gonna go to microphone number two over here on the right. Hi. So I actually have two questions, if that's okay. Uh, my first one's for Jenny. Um, what's your favorite Mizzy scene? Oh, good question. Thank you. I thought in season three, when they're in the prison world, where everything's like really messed up, that was really fun to shoot. There was like fire everywhere and monsters jumping out. So yeah. Yeah. And Daniela, uh, yeah, I just wanted to know who your favorite Michelson sibling is, personally. Uh, Ouch. <laughs> like as Danielle or as Hopes? As Danielle. I mean, I love Klaus as a character. I think he's kind of an iconic villain in the TVDU, and maybe just as a whole. Um, but yeah, just a really complex, interesting character. So, it's my favorite. Thank you. We're gonna go to microphone number one here on the left. Hi again. Um, very sweet. Microphone one, thank you. It's not, oh, no, it is. <laughs> Sorry. Hi again. Um, basically, uh, you're not allowed to say your own characters, but which of the characters do you think you're most like? <laughs> Without saying your own. <laughs> it's not allowed. <laughs> the thinker. It's a good question if we're thinking. Yeah. I don't know. Hope's very like. Hope feels very just like shielded and composed and like always trying to protect people so i'm tempted to say alaric because he's kind of the protector of the school and she's kind of the you know protector of her friends and the people that she loves so in that regard and, and you know she obviously really looks up to him and views him as a father figure so yeah. it's a tough one it's a tough one yeah lizzie is like lizzie yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, and I definitely didn't feel like similar to Lizzie when I started playing her either. Like I really, You're not, no, no, yeah, no. no, I talk much slower than Lizzie does. So I really had to like hype myself up to be on her speed most of the time. But um, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. Caroline Houndstone. Yeah. We'll go up to uh, microphone number Caroline. three at the top left here. Hi, um, what is your, or who is your favorite saboteur brother? <laughs> Very Tense. polarizing, yeah. controversial question. Controversial. <laughs> All right. Stop Mine then. is David. <laughs> 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 yes, I know. Controversy. We're going to go up to microphone four on the right. Hi. So I was wondering. Um, what is your favorite Saltzman twins and hope scenes? Obviously, Kaylee's not here, so she can't answer it, but for both of you. Together is the trio, right? Yeah. We fought a lot of monsters together. Yeah, which is, which is Fun and badass. Not the spider one, but that was. Oh, that was not fun. <laughs> it was not my favorite. I think any of the ones were were like fighting monsters together. It felt very like powering. Um, yeah. Yeah. Do you have any specific ones now? I don't really. No. Sorry, it's a very general answer. Yeah. <laughs> Five years of scenes. It's a long time. I know. Yeah. We'll go to microphone two on the right. Hi there. Hi, I'm Lucy and I just wanted to know, do you prefer to film as like a tribe rather than a heretic or when you were like well rich and like just normal rich? Yeah, I, I really enjoyed being a heretic. I begged for years to be made into one and then the writers finally gave it to me so I was really happy about that. Um, I chose to go for the CGI teeth so I never had the actual mm -hmm. 
vampire teeth because I heard lots of stories about like drooling and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, CGI only is great. Um, but no, it was really fun. Really, really fun. Yeah. I had asked for Tribert Hope for since the beginning. Uh, Brett and I are showrunner. <laughs> we talked about it like season one and we said season four was our year and I'm, I'm so thankful that we got to do it before we ended. Um, but it was so much fun. I mean, really just a blast. I did, I did, I did CGI teeth, but I also did the... You had the vibes. Like some directors wanted the teeth. Yeah. Yeah, for the, for the vibes, I guess. Yeah, how but, I, I mean, you can't talk in them, so you just do it for like the shot that your mouth is open. Yeah. But we do the CGI veins, which is cool. It always looks really cool, but yeah. 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 That's a lot of fun. We have a question at the top right, microphone number four. Um, who in like the whole Legacy cast is most like the real person and who is the least? I hope you won't be offended, but Quincy's got a lot of similarities with MG. Like he's very like kind and um and good at like bringing the group together and, and earnest. Um, so I'd say maybe Quincy and G. Um, I'd say you are the least like your character. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I feel like I've become more like her over the four years, though. You do. I mean, we spend so much time in like exactly. in her head. So. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm taking some of Lizzie with me. She's kind of bleeding into your personality. Yeah, totally definitely. makes sense. That was not a vampire pun, by the way. <laughs> um, maybe it was. We're going to go to microphone number one here on the left. Uh, there's been a lot of character development for each character throughout the four seasons. Um, do you think your characters have a defining moment where they really thought, like, found who they were and thought, this is who I am? Um, a bunch. I think there were like a lot of, there's been a lot of transitions, especially for Hope. I think, I think this season, this past season, um, she, you know, in, in being a tribrid and having shut off her humanity, there were a lot of moments where she asked herself who she wanted to be, um, when her humanity started to break through and she sort of like started being haunted by herself. Um, I think seeing that for her really showed her you know the choice that she had to make of who she wanted to be going forward so i think this entire season has been that for her yeah i think lizzie had a lot of growth in season two and season four um definitely with the whole heretic thing yeah i think she's had a great sort of arc of progression and of learning and applying that learning and so yeah, I'm really happy with where she ended up. Thank you, good question. We'll go up to microphone number three on the top left. Hi, um, so basically I have a really big look for, look for acting after I watched the Vampire Diaries universe because you guys are very inspiring. And I wanted to know what's your advice to newbie actors starting from no experience who want to be really successful like you guys? Um, I would say, you know, start anywhere. I grew up in a small town and I did like community theater plays when I was in middle and high school. And, you know, I, I ended up coming over here to do drama school in London and that was an amazing opportunity and experience. But yeah, just, you know, if there's like a local acting class that you can get into or an improv class, basically just wherever you can start. And, and see where it takes you. Give her a round of applause, by the way. Thank you so much. Thank you. Right. Yes to that. I mean, all the same. I grew up in a very small town. I didn't have any connections to this. And it literally just kind of like, you know, I didn't just fall into my lap. Like, I very much so had to work for it myself. And like, my advice would be to persevere because there's a lot of rejection in this industry. Um, and so you kind of, if you love it, you just have to keep going in spite of all that. Best of luck to you. Yes, another round of applause. A lot of aspiring actors here in Liverpool this weekend that have been asking questions like that. We wish you the best. We're going to go up to microphone four up at the top right. Right. 
So basically, it's like a bit of an awkward question, but if you had to pick out of the four, Klaus, Elijah, David, and Stefan, who do you think is better looking? <laughs> <laughs> Controversial. Very controversial. <laughs> I mean, luckily, I always say I don't have a type necessarily. I don't like, you know, blondes over brunettes or anything like that. So, I mean, they're all wildly attractive humans, aren't they? <laughs> I don't think I'd say no to any of them. <laughs> no, I'd agree. I mean, like, yeah. Yeah. No, I'd agree. Yeah, fully. Yes, yeah, that. <laughs> Any and all, you're yeah, saying. Any and all. <laughs> That's a fun question, thank you. We're going to do uh, a couple final questions. We're going to go to microphone number two, right here on the right. Hi, first of all, I um, love you both so much, literally, more than anything. And personally, I'm Team Hizzy. I love all the legacy shit, so I was wondering what your favourite like, scene to film together is. Or was. We had a scene in season three, episode five, do you remember that? Oh With, in the 80s episode. Oh, yes. Yeah, so when you had that massive hair. Yes. <laughs> she was like, she okay, was making okay. me laugh the entire night. That was, it was, it was a lot of really, fun. really fun. And it is yeah, the yeah. only time I broke you and you called me Jenny. I know, in the Lizzie. scene. You were like, like <laughs> Jenny! And then realized we like, had to start again. Yes, yeah, it we was did. Good. No, it was, it was a good. lot of fun. Yeah, it was like fun. chewing this gum and it was, yeah. <laughs> it was so funny. It was a lot. No, that is definitely one of my favorites. Yeah. I like the other 80s episode that we did too, in season two, when we had like, oh god, yeah. Yeah, yeah. those crazy outfits and hair, that was fun. It's always us. I know. It's always us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going to do a final question over here on the left, microphone number one. Hi, um, I just wanted to ask, what was, who is the funniest on the set to mm. film with? Oh, good question. Mm. always smiling and like saying funny things I guess. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Um, Matt jokes around a lot. Yeah. Matt has a good sense of humor. He does. Yeah. He, he makes me laugh a lot. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a very serious actor. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> around here. Well, final question for me. What is next after Liverpool? Any things you're working on or excited to look that we can look forward to seeing you in? Yeah, I mean, we're just kind of like, the show literally just ended for us. Like, yeah. So we literally are just off of our contracts now. Um, so the world is very open, like literally as of a week and a half ago. Yeah. So it's very recent. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm sure some of us are gonna take some time and just really choose what we wanna do next, at least I'm speaking for myself. Um, I really wanna take my time and choose what's right for me next. So yeah, I don't know. The world's kind of our oyster right now. Freedom for the first time in a long time, so um, just adjusting to that and like seeing what comes next. Any goals, any career goals coming up? Yeah, I mean, all the things I really like, you know, I, I love the fantasy and, and sci fi genre as well, but um, I, I, I have some other interests as well as an actor. Um, so I think. I'd like to do more film, I'd like to do different TV, um, but I kind of started in film and I really, really love doing movies, so I'd like to do more, but <laughs> I'm really open to anything, so. Yeah, likewise, I'd love some variety. I would also love to do theater a little bit, that would be great, um, as well as movies and TV, just, yeah, do different things, new different things. It was your oyster. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to say goodbye to the ladies. There's a little bit more time here at Comic Con Liverpool. So if you haven't already, please uh, take a look around and meet some of your favorite stars here. Ladies, any final words to your very, very loyal, amazing fan base here at Liverpool? Just thank you. I mean, you guys have been so loving. And just thank you so much for all of your support. We really, really appreciate it. Yeah, it's been wonderful to meet all of you. And yeah, it's been a really, really nice weekend. So thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.
We have time for one more question, and I see this lovely lady over here to the right is ready for us, so we have time for one more. Thank you. Um, how old were you when you had like, your first acting like job? Um, I did my first film at 13. Um, I had done like commercials before that. So, but like I became an actor at around nine, but my first film was at 13. I think I got paid to act for the first time. I was 21 or 22. Well, the production team, uh, the guys in the booth there have been putting up photos all day long, so we don't have any childhood photos of you guys, but there's always Google, so yeah. first rolls for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Not those no. naughty guys up there in the booth. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for your cast of legacies. Danielle Rose Russell and Jenny Boy. Don't forget, guys, there's more to come from Comic-Con Liverpool right here. Make sure you're following them on social media as well, and you guys are an amazing audience. Keep it going for our stars of legacy. Danielle and Jenny, don't forget guys, there's still